What's up, Geeks and Gamers? I have some very exciting and amusing news for you guys today because we just got confirmation that Shang-Chi is going to be the biggest movie ever coming from Marvel Studios. This movie is by far and away the most anticipated movie of all time when it comes to marvel everyone is just dying to go see it the the theaters are flooded right now i'm telling you those theaters are going to be just packed to the brim with people on opening weekend or at least that is what you know i'm sure marvel wishes would be happening but instead we just got a report, an actual report, that Shang-Chi is expected to have the worst opening weekend ever for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which is honestly quite atrocious. We are in a post-endgame endgame world where, honestly, if the Marvel Universe was in a healthy place and people were actually being excited about it, then these films should be doing very, very well. Obviously not on the level of Endgame, because I don't think any film is going to be on the level of Endgame for a very, very long time. But these films should be healthy. They should be doing well. They should be performing well in the box office. But as we see with Black Widow and now with Shang-Chi, it looks like that is not going to be the case. It seems like people are not very hyped about these movies. They just aren't. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that Marvel continues to tell us time and time again and push time and time again for these ridiculous woke agendas with their movies i mean th this pretty much all that they continued to focus on with their new movies there was a time when marvel was focusing on the things that actually mattered like you know story and character and giving us those characters that we love in the comics giving them giving those characters to us on the big screen those were the things that marvel used to focus on giving us fun stories fun engaging characters and characters that we actually liked and cared about but it doesn't seem like marvel is really in the business of doing that anymore it started with captain marvel and it has continued ever since then and um it, it's a shame to watch because this is a universe that many many people have grown to love and now they are pretty much just flipping the table right on their own fans which is sad it's really sad so marvel studios and disney's upcoming shang chi and the legend of the ten rings starring simu liu and aquafina is expected to have the worst opening weekend ever for the mcu box office tracking website box office pro predicted earlier this month that shang chi and the legend of the ten rings is only expected to have an opening weekend between 35 million and 55 million yikes if this prediction holds shang chi will have the worst opening weekend in the marvel cinematic universe ever the current holder of that title is universal's the incredible hulk starring edward norton and Liv tyler that was released back in 2008 the incredible hulk had an opening weekend of 55.4 million however if you factor in inflation that opening weekend box office would be 70 million in 2021 dollars so, uh, you know, not not terrible, right? Not only is Shang-Chi predicted to have the worst opening weekend in Marvel Cinematic Universe history, but it's predicted to be the worst performing MCU film at the domestic box office for its entire run in theaters. Box Office Pro predicts the film will earn between 100 million and 165 million. Looking at the top end, if Shang-Chi earns earned 165 million, the only film it would best would be The Incredible Hulk, which grossed 134.8 million at the domestic box office holy guacamole however if you factor in inflation it gets handled it gets handily beaten as the incredible hulk's gross in today's dollars would be 170.9 million that is just that is honestly just pathetic it's just sad it really is now of course like i said i think a lot of the woke type of nonsense is factory factoring into some of this stuff but at the same time obviously we live in a crazy world right now where people are easily being you know uh, swayed or are you know afraid or whatever else by other influences that are happening out there having to do with you know certain things that are going on in the world right now and obviously that can factor into some of this type of stuff as well uh so you know that could be another reason why people aren't showing up to the theaters that is a very high possibility as well so um you know it's just it's just crazy it's just absolutely crazy the world that we are living in right now where you know a, a marvel movie is going to be performing in 2021 as 
possibly the worst performing MCU movie in the opening weekend ever in the box office history for this for this franchise, which is absolutely crazy to me. Now, I don't know about you guys. I mean, I, I hear that the movie is actually going to be pretty decent as far as Shang-Chi goes. We'll have to wait and see as it comes out this weekend. I don't know. I mean, I'm going to go see it. And Mike and I are going to do a review for you guys. So make sure that you guys are looking forward to that. We will hopefully be doing it in the opening weekend. Actually, we will on opening night thursday night we will have a review out for you guys so uh but with all of that being said i don't know what to expect about this movie i don't know if i'm gonna enjoy it i don't know if i'm not going to i just don't i don't know and honestly i just don't really care i'm not really excited about this movie i i don't feel anything for the mcu anymore because i see what is happening i see what is coming on the horizon more and more with this franchise they're going to Star Wars this franchise. They're going to continue to push for the wrong things in these Marvel movies. They already are in the marketing, in the promotion for a lot of these films. They're focusing on the wrong things. They're focusing on the things that really don't matter when it comes to story and telling good stories. But that is what Marvel is obsessed with right now. That is what they're going to continue to push. And whenever a franchise does that, I lose my excitement for it i lose my interest in it the same thing is happening with lord of the rings as well it is why i don't give a crap about the lord of the rings franchise that is coming from amazon prime or amazon studios i should say this this is something that i used to be excited about i used to be excited about this lord of the rings series that was going to be coming i thought that amazon was the right studio for the job and i think they could have been if they actually focused on the right things if they actually had an an, an interest in honoring tolkien's legacy and honoring his vision but i don't think they have any interest in that whatsoever at this point so let me know what you think about this in the comments below what do you think about this news coming from shang chi and about this movie and everything else does this surprise you does it not surprise you are you excited for shang chi shang chi uh, shang tree i'd love to hear what you have to say in the comments below i hope you guys enjoyed and i will talk to you later bye